In alternate universe world, dual shocks exist. Deo has a world backer with a place. I think what you meant to say is where dual shocks yeah, don't going. exist. Oh, it's been peaceful. I think that's what you meant to say. The ounce you bought, yeah, congrats. Yeah, guys, if y'all, if you guys do drugs or drink alcohol or fucking snort fentanyl through your butt crack, like, I don't care, like, to each their own. You, you guys don't impress me. You don't disappoint me. You can just be however you want, and that's fine with me. And that's, like, my attitude. Joe, thank you for the two months. Don't tell the others you didn't get them anything. Is that like a reference to something? Or... Thank you for the sub, man. RPG ass quote right there. Actually, I don't think I've ever tried that. I, I know a composer has the gem color re recoloring mod, but I, I don't know if there's a mod that actually... I should ask composer if he can change that to make every gem red. Or if there's like a seed that does that. Just to see if the game is still beatable. Someone remind me after this run dies to DM Composer about that. Well, if you make every gem purple, then it's boring because, like, obviously you can beat the game that way. I'm thinking of it like, can you beat Spyro if every gem is red? Obviously the answer is yes if it's any color except red. Yeah, right, Kuyama. Just how the cookie shits, I suppose. games there, Kuyama. Spire with the gem count slowly drains. I feel like there would need to be another, like, X factor for a run like that. Like, where, like, the speed slowly drains as well. Or, like, Spyro, but the speed decreases with my gem count, but my gem count also um, drains slowly. Like, something like that. Because if it's just the gem count draining, well then I'm just doing the speed run, just with- and hopefully the gem count doesn't drain, you know? Like, I'm already a speedrunner, you know? So there would need to be, like, some other X Factor in a mod like that, but I, I appreciate the- I think you're on a good track with that. I have to hit up DZ for something like that. How do I motivate myself to continue a run when I miss a second or multiple gems? Well, you know, I mean, I'm very clued into how exactly how much time I lose from any given mistake. So if I bonk, I know that's exactly half a second or roughly half a second. And if there's implications later in the level, like I know exactly how many seconds I'm losing at my level with this. 
So I'm able to deduce if a run is worth continuing based on how I'm feeling that day. So like, now this is this might kind of surprise you guys, but some runs I'll continue and some runs I don't, depending on how I'm feeling. So <laughs> I'm sorry if this sounds really patronizing, but I'm just trying to explain as clearly as possible. I don't always reset over runs that can't world record. Recently, I have been doing that because that's just how I've been feeling. But sometimes if I can't get a run like for hours at a time, kind of like what's happening right now, also I need to focus. Then I won't, I'll, I'll no reset a run that's shittier. So it just depends on my mood, how I'm feeling that day, and how much time loss I'm willing to take. Uh, you know, how much my, what, what the goal of the run is. Am I, am I trying to just finish a run and try to make the most of it regardless of world record, or am I trying to get like a PB? Those are two different approaches. For me. So I think it's just being really, even as a run progresses, I think the answer is like, how do I know when it's time to reset? The answer is to be really honest with yourself as you're going through a run. Like even if your initial goal in a run is to PB and then it starts sucking, you know, and you're like, you know what? I'm probably not gonna finish a run today unless I finish this one. Like that was me on my last run yesterday. Like, I'm probably not going to finish another run unless I finish this one. So I finished that, you know, and it couldn't world record, but I still finished it. And it was actually still really good. Please work. There we go. So it's just that the vibe changes from run to run, and you just got to be honest with yourself and what you're willing to take and accept and what the fucking, what each little goal is with each run and time loss. I think a really good strategy, if, you, if you're the type of speedrunner that resets a little bit more than you think you should, I think a really good strategy is to, um, when you make a major mistake, just just see it to the end of the split. You know, even if you want to reset in the moment and you know you're going to reset, just at least finish the level or, see, or finish the split and then decide. Because you're going to find that how you feel like right when you make a big mistake is going to be different than when you give it like, you know, some time and then finish, you know, and then really look at the time loss and then, you know, look at it with a more level head after the after the split. So those are just some strategies for uh, for dealing with runs not being perfect, I guess. Managing your goals and stuff. I'm sorry if that answer was longer than you were expecting. Finally getting out of fucking Clifftown, dude. First run of the day. Let's see. My goal right now is world record, Jericho. So if I lose enough time that I can't get record anymore, I will seriously consider resetting. But I might still see it to the end of the split and decide to no reset anyways. Know what I'm saying? Is this making sense? I know for you guys this is like a tough concept that not everything is so black and white and that, you know, your opinions and feelings can change as you progress through something. I know that's like a crazy concept for some of you guys. It's like in speedrunning, it's either, okay, you reset every run that's not PB, or you only no reset. Like some people have that fucking attitude with this hobby. It's, it's just like, why, do, why does it have to be so extreme? Why can't you just be honest with how you're feeling and just adjust your game, uh, adjust your approach accordingly? You know, it doesn't have to be that fucking complicated. Smokio, thank you for the prime, appreciate it. Yeah, I got out of Clifftown, just barely. <laughs> We're still barely holding on to PB here. Definitely could have had some time saving that. Uh, Shemp. It's all good. Yo, Piggy, thank you for the good luck. What would my mother think of all these? My mother curses. My, my mom, my parents don't mind me saying fuck and stuff. Yours probably do, because you're a little baby, but my parents are cool.
by the way, if you guys have strict or, you know, overly strict parents, you know, that doesn't make you a baby. Just wanna re- I wanna clarify. If you can deal with having a tough family situation, a disagreeable family situation, I respect you for that. For making the most of that. Just real talk. Just because your parents might be bitches doesn't mean you're a bitch, you know, type of thing. Better to have strict parents than parents that don't care. I don't feel like those are, those th two things don't have to be like mutually exclusive. You can have strict parents that don't care about how you feel, that just want what they want for you and that's it. And on the flip side, you can have not strict parents like me that love you unconditionally and support you in what you do as long as you know, you're not fucking killing yourself. My parents care about me, but they're not strict. And the opposite thing could be true. Those aren't like two ends of a spectrum like how you framed it. causes the most issues. I don't know. Yeah, Beast Makers is a pretty tough one. The game just gets harder as you progress. Simply put. But yeah, I guess if I had to just randomly pick a world, I guess Beast Makers or Magic Crafters. I don't struggle with any one part of this run. I just, I'm, I'm just trying to get like a nearly perfect run, so. That's kind of just like, I'm, I'm gonna fuck up. I'm gonna fuck up everywhere at some point. Some days I struggle with some parts more than others. Like today I'm struggling more with Mama Proxy than I did yesterday. Yesterday I didn't struggle with Rat Proxy where I normally would be less blessed. Am I still doing push-ups? No. Maybe in between runs. I am. I have been kind of sitting here for a while so I might, be, I might do some push-ups if I reset this. Controller fixed up? Nice. Good luck on your uh, attempt. Still doing offline runs, Laura. Good luck to you. We starting to get a uh, pace. Yeah, this is like a decent. This is decent. This isn't like insane, but it's decent. Did I get the belt as a kid? No, I. I. My parents never beat me or did any like corporal punishment, spanked me or anything like that. My parents are very much like peace and love. Beard, thank you for the five gifts. Holy moly, that was a uh, super generous man. Love you, beard. Okay, good luck, Laura. If you ever see me flame and it doesn't, like, seem to have a reason, that's because there is no reason. It's just for fun. Well, okay, I'll take it. That's a little wonky. I should still be on cycle. I forgot to split in my- or I missed the split in my PB for Night Flight, so it shows as a minus sign when I split there now. Please make it. Okay. If you're too late for that, you can actually go through the platform as he raises it, so I got a little scared. Almost too late there. Good recovery. Bad bonk. 
So hard not to bonk those stairs, honestly. Get up there, dude. Well, I'm not saving time here anymore. It's fine. You think Socrates was gay? What were you there? You kissed him? Yo, Hooper, thank you for the good lucks. Yeah, probably gonna be like a second or two behind here. Yeah, it's all right. Gonna move to re uh, YouTube. Yeah. That's why it's there. Exclamation point YouTube in the Twitch chat. Bye, Wasabi Unite. See you, Charlie. Yeah, bye, guys. Whoever's leaving. Turned too early there. Dude, yeah, some commands work on YouTube. Not all of them, but some do. So fucked, what the hell? Awkward. Be interesting if they remade ETD or Heroes Day. Yeah, I guess. I'm not the type to be to like get hyped over remakes, to be honest. Yeah, my parents listened to Pink Floyd and the Beatles and James Taylor. True boomers. Many a road trip with them listening through their greatest hits. Cat Stevens. Who else? There's other bands. Dragonless was going over the policies for Twitch Turbo, and that shit does streamers dirty. Oh, how so? I'm talking about for Twitch Turbo. Well, we were whining about September earlier that it like it only applies to subs that are recurring. That is, they will only give you a discount if you do a sub that they that you could potentially forget about and be like, you know, redoing. So it doesn't apply to gifts. That's like the ultimate fuck you is that like the September discounts don't apply to gifts until the very end of the month. Like, alas, I should focus. Yeah, Bob Dylan for sure. favorite movie? Yeah, probably Office Space. It's a good movie. Did my parents push me to go to college? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, my sister and I both uh, went to college. I got a bachelor's bachelor's degree in uh, music, and my Sarah, uh, my Sarah, my sister. <laughs> I talk about I talk about Sarah all the time. My Sarah, got it. Uh, my sister has a master's degree in stuff. She got she double majored in philosophy and creative writing, I think, and then got a master's in uh, whatever the study of old people is gerontology. Hopefully I got the, uh, dragon skip there. That seemed a little sus, but I think we'll be alright. What instrument do I play? I studied, um, uh, jazz vibraphone in college. 
Though I would self-identify as a general percussionist. I like pretty much all percussion instruments. From drum set to piano, to mallet, to hand drums and things like that. Two seconds behind. Let's see what the gem count looks like here. Oh yeah, we have a solid gem count actually. This is not bad. How have the runs been today? Thank you for the good luck, uh, Lean Doer. This is the furthest I've gotten a run so far today. We'll see if we can hold on to it. do music streams. I have some music related content on my YouTube channel, but not much. Feel free to look up Space Caves if you want to see a spiral cover. Nice. Dead even. Favorite drummer? I like J.D. Beck. Got a cool style. Lewis Cole. Star power drummer on Instagram. I like people that, that um, recreate break beats and drum and bass in real life. That's my favorite kind of drumming. Thank you for the nice blowjobs, everybody. 2204. This is a pretty decent run. This definitely has the potential to world record. I have a strong gem count right now. So we'll see what happens. Um, speedrunning and music, there's like some crossover, I guess, but I would not call them like the same thing at all. Speedrunning is similar. I get that question a lot. I, I think speedrunning is similar to music in the same way that like, if you're a classical solo, like pianist or violinist, you learn a piece of music and you play it over and over to the point where you like perfect it and you don't even really enjoy it anymore. That's like what speedrunning is. It's just like, instead of learning a piece of music, I'm learning a game. Learning a route through a game. You know? Same thing as just learning a piece of music and playing it far too much. That's the closest, like, comparison, I, I could say. There's a lot of freedom and expressiveness in music that also sort of exists in speedrunning, but to a much lesser degree, I would say. of jumping into the swamp is so that I can get invincibility frames and not take damage on the firework chests. So I only take one hit of damage instead of what would have been two.
slow there. Come on. Come on, man. Annoying little fucks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Zoki. Thanks for lurking, Chris. Love you, man. Lucky. Um, should be saving time here, I think. We'll see. Alright, we're in the green. Nice. Solid gems there as well. Nice. Lucky with that. Yes, you are, d -Lo. For now. Get up there. Little cocksucker. What up, Nominal? Dental 360. Oop, I missed some greens. Definitely missed a few greens there, but I, I had enough gems to deal. Could have potentially gotten three more greens. But we're good. We have enough to skip the blue anyways here, so that's nice. I need at least 6,000 gems to exit Dreamweavers, Jr.
That wall does have collision that I went through. I got squeezed by the enemy. Very nice. Beautiful. Woo! Love it. Thank you for the Prime Dodd Slasser. 20 months. Don't get fucked. That mushroom was trying to troll me. Can. Oh, there's always someone. Always someone. Thank you for the 420, Ryan. Since we can miss four. I need that. It's okay. jump. Get in there. God damn it. That's... There goes my time save. It's fine. Stupid whirlwind. 
Okay, I need the red here, so losing another couple of frames. Still two seconds ahead. 35, 26. Very nice. Very nice. All right, guys, pray for me. All right, give it to me. Clutch up. Can we do it? I'm sitting down here. I'm sitting down here. What will you do oh, then? shit. I'd say the sky's the Ooh. Oh, man. Ooh. Yeah, dude. Six months. That took me six months. Did you hear me? <laughs> I heard you scream. I thought oh. you were yourself. I was like, fuck, are you kidding? Let's go! Did you hear the voice crack? Woo! Yeah, I was like, I can't tell if it's good or bad. GG, baby. Oh, thanks, boo. <laughs> Oh my fuck yeah! Ooh. man, that was that one was that, that one was a long time coming. That one was edging. I was edging that one, man. Holy fuck! Yes. Ah, uh, after I think about like I'm gonna say this whole last month was like I could get it, you know. I've had a low 37 for over two months now, and since then I think we've gotten maybe 20 roughly runs that could have gotten a 36 but just barely missed it even with a first try rat because the rat like barely didn't get me high enough or i missed the early hit or i bonk and jock or something stupid finally we fucking broke through dude finally <laughs> this one this run was definitely long time coming this one we were edging it i was i was it was too much too much edging i'll say too much edging Oh my god. Good lord. Feels good, man. Feels good. Oh. <sighs> Spyro's the best. Happy Spyro, everybody. Spyro fans, where are you at in the chat? This game's still going all these years later. Holy smokes, dude. They, dude, honestly, they said it couldn't be done. Go back in the Discord. Go back a couple years. They said 36? Nah. You know what? They said that about the 120 and they said that about the 36. They said 36 ain't happening. Nah. Not in our lifetimes. I broke both of the potentially final minute barriers of this game. I don't want to call it the final minute barrier, but there's a, a, a real possibility that no one is going to get... Uh, is no one, no one's gonna break another minute barrier in the main categories. There, there's a real possibility of that. These these records might get improved. I, I mean, let me be real. This run wasn't perfect, obviously. Like this record could be beaten for sure. But um, yeah, to finally hit like maybe my last big minute barrier. It's very that's very special, man. That is super special. So I just want to say thanks everybody for joining along in the journey. Let's fucking go. Let's go chill in a comfy ass level somewhere. Thank you everyone for hanging out. 
Man, what a fucking W. Finally. That was a damn dub. Where should we go? Any requests? I'll say thank you to everybody in a minute. Oh my god. Woo! Go to loot. I don't have it unlocked. And I can't do early loot because the nasty head is open. Yo, Dark Hollow. Dude, good idea. Dark Hollow. In honor of the latest video talking about the fucking vibes of this game. Even after all these years of speedrunning and, you know, running this game into the ground for myself. You know, I fucking still appreciate the fucking vibes of Dark Hollow. What a better place to go right now than Dark Hollow and go sit by the fire while I sit on my fucking ass in amazement. Holy shit, man. I need to go get a beer, dude. Holy moly. Fucking did it. I'm surprised. I didn't think I was going to get a good run today. I was stuck in the early game for like a hot minute. Thank you, babe. I was going to ask. Like, <laughs> I got my beer delivery here. Guys, Chugger's in the chat, man. Yay! You know what's weird? You got the 120 Cheers. on Memorial Day, and you get the 36 on Labor Day. You have oh a really my good God. track record with Monday holidays. Oh, uh, yeah. Good shit, everybody. GG. Cheers. The yep. fucking chuggers. Woo! Nice. And, and after this, after this stream, we're going to go over to the pool. Last day at the pool. It's a sunny day. We're going to go have some margaritas and chill with the fucking squeaker ass loud kids that are screaming, splashing at each other and shit. It's, it's going to be a good what vibe. The sigma? That's what they're going to say. They're going to be like, um, what the sigma? And then splash each other. Yeah. Now you have to make another wolf. I have to make another commentary. No, it's, that's all right. That's all right. I'll do it. I like making those commentaries. Oh no, more content. Guys, you know what else? This is such great timing because um, now I can actually focus on 120. I was talking about this today. I can uh, go back to listen to me, like get excited about to play more of this fucking game. <laughs> Guys, I can go back to 120 now. I can keep fucking playing this game. Wow. <laughs> Like, man, this guy. But yeah, no, the fucking get on the 120 uh, seasonal leaderboard as well as um, Sprash Fecta, a big, probably like 60 plus person race is going to be happening next Sunday in 120. So I think now I can start my, uh, finally I can take a break from this fucking category and get back to my, to my roots in 120%. So that's going to be awesome. Thank you for the congrats, everybody. And also, what's Thursday? Oh my God. What's Thursday, Babo? Oh, and Thursday's our two year anniversary. We're gonna go to a fancy restaurant and get a hotel and only do family friendly activities. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna start saying thank you to everybody. To people who are uh, just popping in or leaving right now, I just wanna say thank you for hyping up the 36. Of course, I'll be making a whole commentary for this. So if you missed it, the VOD's up on YouTube, it's up on Twitch. You can just scroll back in the VOD if you want to watch the thing, but... Right now, I'm going to say thank you to everybody. Let me sit in my chair for a moment. Oh, Damn, I popped off, dude. I fucking... Not just in the game, but I mean, like, in real life. That was, like, a big pop-off. <laughs> I fucking... There's something about, like, when you hit that last flame and then you look over at the timer and you just don't know what it's going to be. Yeah, man. So yeah, so let me start saying thank you to everyone. Again, to people who are leaving, one more chug in the chat. Do stick around for the party time and the and the thank yous. Feel free to drop a prime. I will say thank you to everybody right now. Leave your mark imprinted on the VOD. But yeah, fucking love you guys, man. The compressor kicked in. Yeah, I probably the mic got like fucking uh, fucked there. The, no, it's the noise suppression. The noise suppression probably kicked in really hard, but that's fine. That, that makes it like funny. It's like, I'm not I'm not mad about it. Oh, that's fine. All right. Um, so, yeah, let me say thank you to everybody. Uh, let me scroll down for a moment. Here, I'll do the oldest to the newest. Uh, let me see here. Oh, man. How electrifying, dude. What a good fucking vibe. Let's see. 32, 13 minutes ago. Uh, okay, so on Twitch, <clears throat> I'm going to say my thank yous. Cheers, everybody. Matter of fact, I'll take one sip for every name here. You, it's usual, Namita. Thank you for the prime. 
Nuts with five gifts. Legend nuts. Okay, I can't take a sip for everyone. I'm just gonna blow through these. Itty with the prime. Nuts with another five. Dude, okay, I'm taking an extra sip for, for nuts. Hey, big chug for nuts with the big primes, or the big uh, gifts. Legend. Craig with five gifts. Love you, Craig. My brother. I sell, uh, I sell Kuma. I sell Skuma. I sell Skuma with the Prime. Says, love you, Deo. Thank you. I'm the Beard with 50 gifts. I just saw that. A massive chug for I'm the Beard. What a legend. Guys, I gotta say, these gifts are what keep this grind going. Like, this 36 wouldn't happen without big gifts like that. So, dude, for I'm the Beard, cheers. With the 50 bomb. Legend. Pseudo Soldier with the Prime. Pig Spots with the seven months. Thanks for the congrats. Cubic Mixer with the gift. And then I'll get over to all the YouTube uh, support here in just a sec. I hear the that's those Spyro 2 horns going off. Lazzy with 10 gifts. I gotta hit a fucking chug for Lazzy. Cheers. Mmm. Horns with the 44 months. Horns, one of the truest Spyro fans out there. Thank you for that, Horns. Yeah, huge Lazzy. Huge Lazzy. What up, Bex? I see. I see you guys in the chat. GG's, man. GG's. And Physio with 100 bits. GTR with three gifts. I will get to YouTube in just a sec. Bylath with one gift. C Dazer with the Prime. More GG's. You guys, are, hey, man. You guys are immortalized on this VOD, man. I just want you to know that. You guys are the ones that made this happen. Cheers. And before I get through the last of my beer, let me um, knock out these uh, YouTube ones here. Ryan Dixon. Oh my God. I'll get to that in a sec. Ryan Dixon with uh, f uh, 420. Thank you. Hama Bahama with 420. They say uh, fucking champion and paying the, contact ta the content tax. Thank you. Uh, YouTube membership from Henry. My, my voice is like getting hoarse from yelling. The fucking noise suppression kicked on, but I, I hopefully when I go back and watch it, it's like funny. It's not like whack. It's funny. Was it like a funny pop? I think it was like a funny pop off. All right. Anyways, uh, Henrique with the um, the membership. Thank you, Henrique. Jesper with 973. This is all converted to USD. Thank you for the super chat. It says yes, mate. Yes, I feel the power. Feel the fucking hype. 3658 from J Duth says great stuff. And another 3658 from Michael, who also shouts to Michael for donating 3701 the other day. I should just get worse times and then I get higher donation. Whatever. Thank you, Michael and J Duth, legends. Essie with the uh six uh six dollars and nine cents, sixty-nine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, dude, we got the 36, everybody. Inum with the YouTube membership. Ethan M. I, I promise I'll start talking in the chat in a sec. I gotta shout out everybody. You, I gotta immortalize the generous chatters on the VOD. I knew him with the fucking uh, membership. 655 from Ethan ML. He says, let's let's go. He didn't say fucking. Let's fucking go. GG's. Uh, 499 from After Eddie. GG's. 741 from Wolfgang Westmark. Massive congrats. That was hot. You're hot. Uh, 420 from Megan. Knew you could do it. Congrats. Thank you. 1999 from Harvey Weinstein, who's been lurking a bunch in the chat lately. Amazing you gifted me with my first, my firstest live experience of such a milestone stone. You can now focus on making money for the race next week. I know, literally, I'm going to be grinding 120% just to take home a paycheck on Sunday for the race. <laughs> it's going to be the one chance I can play this game for money. I'm not going to miss it. <laughs> Anyways, and speaking of money, guys, thank you for all the fucking support, man. Life with the fucking uh, 553. P. Hay with 656 says, great run. Been here watching the runs for a while. So happy to see the 36. Uh, Kuyama Kazua. Kaz I'm going to try to pronounce the whole name. Kuyama. Kuyama Kazusa Worshipper. God tier. Never doubt yourself. 199. Oh my god, hold on. I'm al I'm almost done. I know you guys are probably tired of me thanking people. I gotta shout these people. I gotta immortalize you guys on the VOD. I, I can't not. Alex with the fucking YouTube membership. Um, 
Alex Meager with the 656 says, well done, Deo, thank you. Tom's Customs with the $2, thanks for lurking lately, Tom. Says, brought your PB down a full minute in six months. Yeah, it's almost a full minute, technically 59 seconds. But yeah, my my first ever um, big world record in this game, one of my first big world records in this game was the 3757 in 2021. And now here we are in 2024 with the 3658, just to kind of show how far it's come. Very cool. Um, brand with very minor strat changes overall, by the way, just generally just playing a minute better. That's, that's really saying something. Um, Brandon Hall with 199. Congrats, legend. You earned this. Thank you. Ronaldo with the 135. Congratulations. Massive. You deserve it. Thank you. 199 from Green Alien says, congrats. Truly inspiring. Thank you. Abigail with $5. You rule. You knew you could do it. And those are all of the YouTube supports, but of course, let me catch up. And I'm sorry, I'll be done here in just a sec. I know it's like, oh my God, when's he gonna stop thanking people? I will not stop thanking people until everybody's thanked, okay? But first, I'm gonna finish this beer, finish off my Twitch thanks, and just chill for a sec and just kick back because I, I feel like I need it after that run. So one more chugger in the chat for all the generous chatters. Fucking love you guys for the fucking 36 long-awaited, long-edged, finally busted. Cheers. Oh, and that's that beer. Um, and Physio with 100 bits on uh, Twitch now says congrats. Thank you. GTR with three gifts. Thank you for that GTR. Bylath with one gift. Uh, C Dazer with the Prime for 15 months as more GG's. Thank you. Pseudo Soldier with 10 gifts. Yeah, I would drink more of this beer if I had it for you, Pseudo Soldier. That's super generous. Thank you. Crushing Eagle uh, with two months. Thank you, Crushing. Tomos with the 20 bits. Vaki. Uh, yeah, Vaki with five gifts. Oh my god, these five gifters. Vaki with five gifts. Thank you for that. Antiki with five gifts. Big, big support from you guys. Appreciate that. Strawberry, my beautiful girlfriend with a gift. Thank you. Spiker with 100 bits. Dale, I missed it, but GG's you legend. Thank you. Criminal Pumpkin with the gift and Shinobi Sean with the fucking GG. And uh, 1313 from uh, Arshak, legend simple as, thank you. Oh my God, I think I got through Did I miss anybody? I think I got through everybody, <laughs> at least for now. Let me drink this water, man, holy fuck. Holy fuck. I see some dancing pigs in the chat. What's a better, C-Ray asks, what's a better feeling? 30, uh, 120% 120 or any percent 36? They both feel great. They both feel like massive breakthroughs. I really can't say one felt better than, I, b both of them were massive catharsis, I would say. Both of them were like a long time coming. Both of them, I was very close for a long time. And to finally break through is just like, oh, it just makes me want to just, you know, scream. You know, that's exactly what I did. Even if the mic did uh, cut off some of it, I mean, I, you, you, I feel like you guys could feel it. Stop yapping, let's do another run. Hey, you go do another run, bitch. All right, man, let me enjoy the moment, you fucking fuck. The sky's the limit, let's not stop at one record. I'm done, what are you guys fucking talking about? What are you talking about? You want me to do another run right now? Bro, I just drank a whole beer. Dude, the secret song just played. I thought you guys were true Spyro fans. I thought you guys appreciated this kind of vibe. Apparently not. I guess we got some fake Spyro fans in the chat. No fucking Pace Pals, but not Spyro Pals, clearly. <laughs> GG's, GG's. Yeah, Spyro 2 now? Oh my god. My shirt is on. I'm gonna leave it on. I'm a little chilly. Oh my fucking god, dude. I'm gonna grab it real quick. I'm gonna grab a Gatorade, come back, chill out, and we'll look through the splits and talk about the run a little bit. Because, yeah, there was... I mean, I pretty much kept it even. I was two... At worst, I was two seconds behind in Alpine. Yeah, that was like my sloppiest level. It was like two seconds in Alpine. Had a really solid bog. I, I, you know, but it could have been better, to be fair. There was definitely like more like five to seven seconds of time save in bog, and I only saved two. But it was still a solid bog, all things considered. The ending of Beastmakers was really solid. You can tell. 
And yeah, the end game was really solid. Dude, thank you, Ash. Love you, Ash. If it, let me say real quick, if you hopefully you can hear me, Ash. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have gone for this. So I want you to know that. You, you definitely inspired me. Oh my god. Man, it feels good, everybody. It feels good. Okay, I'm gonna go grab a Gatorade. I'll be right back. We'll talk about the run a little bit. Uh, I'm not gonna do like a whole commentary like or anything. I'll, I'll do that offline, but uh, yeah, we'll talk about the run a little bit. Chill out for a minute. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Give me a sec. And to anybody leaving right now, thanks for hanging out. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do any more runs today. Uh, I do wanna, I think tomorrow I'll start getting back to 120% is the plan to anybody who's leaving right now. But I'm gonna hang out for a minute longer. Feel free to hang out and say congrats or whatever. Drop a sub. If you wanna be immortalized on the on the VOD, feel free to drop a gift sub or, or a super chat or whatever. I will shout you out. Which by the way, shout outs to K with the 258 USD super chat and Lazy with the gift to Ash. Well deserving. Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. One sec. Wow. Hold on, I got, I got to post it on Twitter real quick. You left me something? You want me to know this is all I ever wanted for this category from the moment you started? I just wanted people to pick up the reins and optimize. I can't believe it's finally over, insane accomplishment. Thank you, Laura. I, I felt that message in my heart, in my loins. Stra I almost missed it, actually. Strawberry told me to turn around and read that. I'm glad she did, because that was very special. That was very, very special message. I felt that. I felt that one, Laura. I felt that. BRB.